had just heard about the news. It was a little bit before Techno's video had actually been released, and I was going through a root canal procedure, and I, I was complaining, and I was whining about how much pain I was in because it was so much insufferable pain. And right when I had been stepping out to go back to my mom's car, I had gotten a call from Dream, and he told me that he loved me, and told me about the passing of Technoblade. I froze. I couldn't believe it. And suddenly, all the pain that I had felt had just disappeared. I don't know how to truly describe the feeling. It, it's just like an empty pit in, in your stomach. No matter what I do, I feel like this is all I've been able to really think about. So much cancer, man. I've been watching a lot of the uh, videos I made with Techno, even though it's really hard to. I was talking to Hannah Payton. I actually met her through Technoblade, and she sent me this video, and it was me, Finn, Hannah, and Techno just literally playing Minecraft, having fun. I'm just grateful that I got the opportunity to experience and live it. I can only really hope that Techno would have wanted me to make this video. It's really weird and I hate it because I spoke to Techno quite recently and he had told me about his cancer, yet I wasn't worried. He sounded just so positive and happy like he always did and I just didn't think too hard on it like at all. I'm telling you, I strive to be like Techno. His attitude, his mindset, anyone that knew him would just agree and see these qualities. Technoflade calls his final merch. GG easy. <laughs> he just wanted to make us all laugh. Technoblade, I love you. I miss you. You have the hottest elbows. Rest in peace, Technoblade. I remember the day we told Tommy, because we, we told Tommy after, uh, and he, I called him, and he was just on the Dream SMP, just looking for books Techno had written. <laughs> he was just, yeah. like, talking to me through the tears, uh, like, asking me questions about it and stuff, and I was just telling him everything I knew. Yeah. Tommy's yeah, he said that. He, he said that Techno... Uh, left a book mm. before he logged out for the last time on SP Earth. So he was like, Oh, I wonder if wonder if he's done it. We could we'll have to look for the map. For S P Earth, <laughs> see what that book was. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I would ask yeah, he's he's the one that like found it or like knew about it, I think. Yeah. I think uh I think for me it was like when I found out the news, uh I didn't I didn't actually cry for a while because I'd already kind of processed the idea of him passing because I, I, I don't know when the last time you spoke to him was over VC but uh, I spoke to him at like the beginning of June mm. and uh, like before I left for America it was like the last day before I left and I played TF2 with him and he basically gave me the lowdown of like he was like very clear to me that he wasn't feeling too good and I was like okay you know I got it I understood so when I'd actually got the news I, di I didn't really I, I, it, t it took me a long time to process I just felt kind of numb for a while uh, the weirdest thing for me what it's been for me actually with most pe most friends that I've lost uh, I would like walk around and I was just thinking, why is no one else caring? <laughs> you know, even I, I was like, why is you know, don't they know my friends died? Like, why, why is no one else noticing? You know that feeling. Yeah. And um. And I felt that for a while. I felt that every day, waking up, I would, I, you know, at the airport, you know, going to walking around the panels and stuff. I was always like, why is no one? Why is no one caring? You know, obviously they didn't know. I can't blame them, but like, there's something weird in your head when you lose some, when you lose a friend, where you're, where you wonder why the world is still turning. You know, you wonder why people are still going about their business, and uh, and that was that was one of them for me, and uh, it was really comforting for me when I saw the outpouring of love, and 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 
the shock waves he left you know on the internet they say yeah. you can measure the mark of a man on the day and the shock waves that he leaves behind